Good morning. It's Monday again and it's time for some motivation. So let's see if we can get started on having a, an absolutely great week. Uh, for some of us, of course, we've already been going for a little while. For others, we might be just starting. So how do you remember what it is that actually keeps you motivated? Uh, if you're having difficulty with your motivation, it means that probably we want to figure out what will work all the time, every time. And some pretty simple things that I've found through the years. Uh, if you're inspired, and I talked only recently about uh, what it is to be inspired, if you're operating in a place from inspiration, it's pretty easy to stay motivated. Now, other things happen, of course, as uh, we go along, and always there's somebody wanting our time, they want our energy, uh, and sometimes, of course, it's appropriate that you give that. If you have a customer there that you need to uh, deal with, you better be applying some energy, otherwise they're not going to remain a customer. So remembering what's important, how do you do it? Now, one of the things that I found quite some time ago, because people told me when I was much younger and getting into business and working with people that, I should get testimonials from people and I got testimonials and the reason that they told me that I should get testimonials is because I can use those testimonials to show to potential customers so that they will be convinced that whatever it is that I'm doing they they are going to get a good job because other people have reported that they had a good job however I found a far more valuable use for testimonials and that is if you've got testimonials, one thing that we can be sure of about testimonials is that they all say good things. They tell us just how wonderful we really are. Now, what does that mean? It means this. If you're feeling a little bit down, you're a little bit knocked about by what's going on, get them out and read them because there's no better way to remind yourself that what you're doing is good because they all say, wow, what a fantastic fellow. What a fantastic person this one is. And you can jump on top of that and get yourself excited and go off and do it all again. Now, another thing that uh, I found helps some people is to revisit your SWOT analysis. Now, if you're not sure what a SWOT analysis is, it stands for strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Now, a SWOT analysis is most often undertaken by somebody when they've just had a fantastic idea and they're still in the grip of that fantastic idea. So quite possibly they're feeling a little bit uh, excited about things and not looking at things quite as objectively as they might, which in one way is a good thing, but in another, it's not quite so brilliant because we actually need to look at these things with a, a good deal of objectivity so that we can see, is this thing really worth doing? Now, if you're looking at it whilst you're being very objective, it's really simple to come up with what is my strength, okay? Identify those strengths and that will give you a bit of a push in the right direction that this is something that you can do really, really well. What are my weaknesses? Now, you can, having found whatever the weaknesses are, learn to overcome them. And in learning to overcome them, it, it of course turns those weaknesses to a strength. It also means that you can overcome whatever weakness is there in some other way if you can't just replace it as a strength. Opportunities, uh, lots of people say that you know, opportunity stops knocking. Well, that's not right. Uh, opportunity knocks all the time. It's just that sometimes we've forgotten to listen. So you know, keep your wits about you and you'll notice plenty of opportunities. And seeing those opportunities means that you can put in place strategies and such to uh, take advantage of them. Because they're there and they're there in front of you for a reason. So you might as well get the best out of it. And then, of course, there's the threats. Is somebody new jumping into this area that you operate in? Uh, is there a chance that they could do it better than you? Etc. Etc. 
uh, or indeed is is the market that you're in dying is is nobody looking for it anymore there's all sorts of things that uh, turn themselves up as threats but if you know what they are then you've got a tremendous opportunity because you can put in place strategies to deal with them so making the most of those sort of things uh, i found for lots and lots of people is enough to keep people motivated and motivation is what it's all about if you're not motivated uh, go back to bed but if you can be motivated other people will want to get involved with what you're doing uh, motivation turns itself into enthusiasm and enthusiasm generally makes the difference if everything else is equal enthusiasm is going to win the day so help yourself get enthusiastic read those testimonials if you don't have a SWOT analysis do one if you do one and you don't understand what it's talking about get somebody to help because they really are super important there's a link in the text beside this live uh, taking you to other information that you might find helpful in staying motivated and it's all about better business better business more often more frequently more clients etc so go and have an absolutely great week and do your best to stay motivated